Today I'm going to talk about a perfume that's been around now for over a hundred years. 1919 saw the release of Caron's legendary Tabac Blonde. Uh, I have the most current version of this perfume here in my hand. It is a, I'll, I'll show a close-up of the bottle, but it's a beautiful flacon. Um, they, you know, I'm very happy with what Caron uh, is doing has done with the packaging of this perfume. But of course, reviews, especially on this channel, are all about the smell and the juice inside those bottles. And my review is gonna be solely based on this version of Caron Tabac Blonde. I have not been lucky enough to smell vintages of this perfume. In fact, I'll start off by telling you how I came to get this bottle. A couple of years ago, I uploaded a video, um, which I generally do at the beginning of most years, and talk about some perfumes that I would like to sample, you know, and it's usually things that I haven't tried before. And one of those was Tabac Blonde. Now, because there are many beautiful, generous human beings in the world, someone sent me a sample of uh, a Tabac Blonde. I had a, a few mils of this perfume, and I am just a little bit less than 100% sure that it came from the version, the previous version of this. So it probably came from a bottle that looked like this. And wearing that over several months, uh, I basically liked it immediately and I fell in love with it. And then it became, uh, it became a bit of an obsession for me to get a bottle and at that point in time, it was actually quite hard to find a bottle of Tabac Blonde uh, unless you were willing to pay a lot of money, which I wasn't. When Caron finally released their new line um, and this was available again, I jumped right on it and bought myself a bottle of the current version. Okay, so I will say this and I'm not gonna, <laughs> I would be lying if I said that I am slightly disappointed in the way this smells to the sample that I had. I will say this with no hesitation, it is, it is, it is Tabac Blonde, so it is recognisable as Tabac Blonde. Now this also comes to the point that a lot of people, and I've had this experience myself, although I can't, I've never done any like qualitative or quantitative testing that this is the case, and it could all be psychological, uh, but some people are convinced that perfumes, certain perfumes age in the bottle and the way they smell when you first open them, is different to the way they smell after you've had a bottle for a couple of years and it's and oxygen has gotten into into it i don't know enough about the chemistry of this to say definitively that this is a thing or it happens so i don't want to rule out the fact that the the sample of tabac blonde that i tried was older therefore smelled different because of its age now the other theory is uh, which is probably the most common theory is that new bottle means a reformulation. So what I smell here is the same, but there, there are some very, very subtle differences. Okay. So I'll just get into the review of this current Tabac Blonde. First of all, the main thing I notice is, the main thing I notice is that the sample I had, uh, appear seemed to have a bit more dimension uh this this current one compared to that seems a little flatter um less more 2d than 3d all this all the accords are there and this one also doesn't seem to be as loud as my sample what what you're going to get right in the opening what i get in the opening is a uh, lovely spicy carnation note but there is this there is this really nice cold wisp of smoke running through it now the the name tabac blonde can be a bit misleading because 
I don't smell anything that I immediately recognize as tobacco, for instance. Uh, they're, they're, uh, there are smoky elements and this cold wispy note like could be coming from something like vetiver for instance uh, there is also uh, a cold powderiness about this as well uh, the main note here for me is carnation okay when you look at the website um tabac blonde on caron's website they describe it as a as a leather perfume it's you know always been described as a leather carnation perfume but this one here, I don't actually pick up a strong leather accord. It is, it is carnation spice, a bit of powderiness, which could be coming from iris and this wispy, beautiful white, cool smoke that runs through it. So that is the one thing. I remember getting a stronger leather accord from my sample. Uh, it, it does get, it does get quite sweet uh, in the base as well. I've got I've got the dry down on this arm, and it the disappointing thing is is that this one does seem anemic compared to my sample. Uh, so I understand why someone would buy this new version and say, well, it's been clearly watered down. It's a lot weaker. So I want to give it time. I want to give it time to age and see what happens uh, to see if me wearing this in a year from now is going to be any any different. But I, I'm not going to lie. It is it is a bit annoying that I these aren't cheap either. So 50 mil is 150 euro. 100 mil is 220 euro. Uh, it is deeply disappointing that this bottle, this expensive bottle from Caron, uh, is not the same as my as a sample that I fell in love with. It still smells like Tabac Blonde. It's just a bit anemic. It's a bit two dimensional, uh, so it doesn't perform that way. Given that this was a perfume that was initially created with the idea uh, of uh, it was created for, one of the ideas it was created for was for smokers um, to have a perfume that would that would basically mask the odour of uh, burning cigarettes and I can't help but think that Tabac Blonde was once, uh, once something that could actually perform that role. I wouldn't trust this to cover the odor of an you know washed ashtray to be honest because it is it is weak i'm not going to mince my words it's it's a weak perfume i can smell it faintly on my skin after five hours uh so it kind of sticks around but in terms of projection sillage it's not it's just not not there uh so if this is what we're going to get from Caron, since new ownership uh, took over a, a, a little while ago, uh, I don't know because I've also heard rumours that that uh, some classic masculines like uh, Le Troisième and Yatagan are getting uh, discontinued. So I'm not I'm not entirely hopeful for the future of Caron based on this. It's still worth smelling, and it is still it is still a nice scent to me. Uh, carnation Accord, powdery carnation, uh, amber base, a little bit of cool white smoke. It's lovely, but compared to my sample, it's like looking at a beautiful cloud with your own eyes, and then this is looking at a low resolution picture of that cloud. I can't help. <clears throat> I can't help the way I feel. I can. I. I don't want to put any spin on this. Uh, it's just not what I fell in love with. So, buyer beware. I took the risk and hoped that it would be the same, but I. I can't stand here and and say that it is. That is my review of my sad review of Tabac Blonde from Caron. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all whenever. Bye.